Hello everyone, welcome back to Fableheim and War Tales. The marvelous mercenaries have a lot to do today. The skeins are grand, and some of it has already begun. Maleficar, our loyal Herald of the Dark Gods, has a new weapon, and it's a pretty spicy one. I was able to find a level 11 version of what he had previously with the Flurry of Blows, but the stats are just so much better. So it has poison, poisonous oil, and he has the poison soil concentrate, which means that the, the uh, his first attack will guarantee applied poison, and then with the assassin strychnine stamp, he will then deal 25% increased damage against poison targets for the remaining three stabs. The scheme is good on paper. Let's find out if it'll work in reality. But speaking of reality, I also happen to have a skill book. I remember where I got that. No, I don't. But I'm also preparing, I think. I gave his previous hat, the Broker's Morian, over to Hurria. Because I think I'm going to give her Croc Sting. This is the, uh, an upgradable item we got last episode. And it is a ranged weapon compared to being a melee weapon. So I think I'm going to actually try and do that. I also realized these legendary helmets are upgradable, which is hilarious. And the golden chef hat, which I didn't look at last time, is insane, and I don't know who to give it to. But all allies in a 4-meter area around the character recover 10% of their maximum health. It's actually crazy. Uh, so I'm not sure who to give it to. I wanted to give it to Leiti at first, and I still might, but she has a weird tracker thing going on that I would like to keep. Keep on. Keep it on. But for the start of today, for today's glorious beginning... Okay, I bought all this stuff, that's fine. We have some things to do here in the county of Arthes. And uh, I want to finish this off before we get too distracted. So we're going to head over... Huh? I wonder what I'm missing here. I haven't the faintest idea. Oh, hey. Did you drum some sense into those scoundrels? Blessed be the all-seeing eye. I hope they will reflect on their actions. Absolutely. As promised, I will impart my knowledge to you. I trust you will put it to good use. In I've, service of the light. I've wanted to learn this for so long, and I didn't know where it was. I knew it existed, but I didn't know where it was, and it was right here the whole time. Okay, so that is a new spec for our spear individuals. Called the Halberdier, which gives controlled whirlwind. Deal 29 damage to all of the units in the target area and knock them back by 2 meters. Damage increased by 39 for each unit in the area. Hmm. Interesting. It also wears medium armor. I think all the, the spears wear medium. Ah. Huh. That could be good. Ironically, so I was going to switch, um, you know, with the croc swing, the croc swing, with cox, <laughs> my goodness, why is this word so hard to say? With croc sting, our pooner is kind of funny because then she has two throws that she can eat at people and she can just, you know, toss all the time. And now that Maleficar is going to be in the thick of things, maybe he doesn't want to be a herald. I... Do not remember the last time I pressed this button. I should press it more often. I really should. But I don't remember. Hmm. Well, perhaps there's something we can investigate. Um, of course, it'd be here the whole time. It was right in front of me the whole time. But in order to finish up this place, I do have some investigating to do because we have a few question marks. One of those, I believe, is the sepulcher, uh, which is good for us because we can open it. I think we can open it anyway. We do have to go back to the fellowship for the next step of the mysteries and wisdoms, which we'll do on our way to the arena of legend. We're going to do that today as well. We have four characters that are wearing Acadian gear. Please go in. Thank you. We're here for the dragon bone. That doesn't look like a dragon bone, though. And while we're here, 
We need more. We are... I think I have four etherite if I convert everything. Excuse me. Four Arcadian steel if I convert all of my etherite. Which is not good, Sovereign. Thank you. I isolated him because I need him to find the stuff. Please. As swiftly as possible. I've also briefly pulled Red Sonia off the... The cook thing to try and level her to level 11 as well. Not that I can make a Cadian gear for her, but... A man can dream. Yes, so we are back there. And apparently there is a rat's nest over here. Did you get enough rats from last time? If you didn't, you're in for a surprise. More rats! I also should probably kill this ghost back. <laughs> I am getting... I mean, I have a lot of white leather back in camp. I have, I think, 150. There it is. How did I never find this? Hmm. But, you know, I could always have more, because we use white leather. We don't use it for too much now, but we do use it to make... I get this? I did. So did I just go, hmm, I don't want this rat infestation. I guess I did. Now, because of the sheer volume of influence that we gain from killing everything, I'm going to kill everything. But don't worry, it shouldn't be too hard. Lewin is our obeder. Is that a word? Is now. And the other person missing it is Sovereus. Snape. Snape. Sovereign Snape. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate that Lewin got boxed down immediately. But hey, galvanized means we can pretty much just one-shot everything. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Thought that was the wrong person to do that to. Good job. So we need to make our way all the way over yonder. Ooh, we might miss one. That is unfortunate. I mean, I could wait, I suppose. But I'd rather not. Yes, keep attacking Urkashet. I think Urkashet is going to play a key role in the destruction, the demolition of the Arena of Legends. Just, you know, no reason. The fact that she's level 14, fully geared out in a Cadian gear. Well, she doesn't have the helmet. I think I could make one helmet if I wanted to, but... And her mace absolutely thumps and retaliates every single time someone attacks. Yeah. I think... She, I think she's going to do most of the heavy lifting. But we do have Lewin, Apathia, someone else to join. Who else joins? Do we bring my Lificar? Hmm. Maybe I could actually press the buff button for once in my life. El Capitan might be able to kill this. Come on, El Capitan. You disappoint me, El Capitan. But he got it done. Another thing I did is with... Um, we got a, a spinny weapon. A spinny axe. The spin doing. Or, uh, from one of the people we killed. And I was thinking I could level that up and give it to Lewin for like an offhand thing. I don't remember if Lewin got flip weapon, but this almost feels like overkill. But you know what they say, there's no kill quite like overkill. And that is all six rat nests, which means we have an insane amount of infinite coming my way. Influence, sorry. And voila. The end. The destruction of another brood nest. Rat nest. Led by a brood mother. Can I swing now? Thank you. The brood mother is dead. The rats flee in panic. Oh, hey, Cammy's level 11 as well. Very good. 
Quick please, thank you. So I've been thinking about these bravery skills, because we have one, I just don't use it. Deals 16 to 24 damage to the target 10 times. What? Each attack increases the next attack by 20%. Attack stance, attack 5 more times. Defensive stance, heal 3% of max health for each. And we have that thing, don't we? Yeah, the first attack of each round applies all stances. What the fuck is this? That's insane. Big fan. Okay. That makes me happy. Okay, so I think that was everything over here in the mountains that we need to do. So we need to take the journey. The long, terrible walk. Over... Well, I need to go here first. I don't think there's anything over here. I think that's just unreachable terrain. We're gonna go this way. We got a quest to kill an Inquisitor, which... Babe's all in. Nobody expects... The Spanish Inquisition. Well, let's just say we have a few things to repay them for. In Drombak, where they are being super giga annoying. Did I push a shift yet? I did. I did. Okay, we're fine. It's kind of unfortunate, but the Peddler's Guild... We've kind of found something that's better than... An ambusher. Huh? We've kind of found something that's way better than trading with the tavern. Like, it took a lot of time to get our tavern here, right? But why trade when I can just instantly obtain 900 gold? You know? Also, I'd like to refrain from eating a lot of the good food right now. I think we have so many wolf ribs, it doesn't matter. Because we're getting low on the good stuff, if you know what I mean. Jelly bean. I'm gonna have to try and fix that. Why am I only... Ah. This number was like 130. Hmm. Something's going on here. Just keep adding this until this minus one goes away. Oh, the minus one is not from low quantity. The minus one is from, um, veggies. Who needs a veggie? Uh, here, an apple. Un apel. Just kidding, I need that. Okay, maybe it's working now. Let's find out, shall we? It's this little crystal ball here. Foul smell in the camp. Oh. Darn. Did you gain experience? It's... Okay, it's going. Leveling this brewery thing is so... Slow. After my incredible performance... Oh, I'm just getting a full picture of right... There she is. My incredible performance in the last battle. The others must think I am the best that there is. And they're right. My dear Raycor. They are right. Such valor... This is 10% XP. I think we're okay. Such valor deserves a celebration. Ebony, Urkashet, Luinker, and Gunbaldo. Okay. Look at these relationships. Everybody. Hey, how do I do this? Here we go. So Maleficar and Apatia each lose a negative trait. Levikar lost Unlucky, and Apathia lost Delicate. Is that what I think it was? Yes. She will no longer get sick. Levikar lost Betrayed, and Raycor lost Hemophiliac. Yes! My Herald is no longer Betrayed. Ugh. Thank the Dark Gods. Who else was betrayed? Lewin was betrayed. Unfortunately, Raycor doesn't have a negative thing. Anyone else? Lathy doesn't like anyone. 
<laughs> Lady might be my first sociopath. Wait, Lewin loves everybody, right? No, really. We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Does Fabe have a negative trait? No. El Capitan is chill. Red Sonia lost Unlucky and Magnus lost Hemophiliac. Nice. Hashtag worth. Oh, before we get moving. Let us head over to the tavern. So this is my new money scheme. Look at that. 1100 crown or er, copper. And I can immediately convert that into money. Urson prevented some bandits. We stole the Lake Fish Terran. We got 30 prestige and we got past us. Nice. And Vivian is a sorcière. You know the rules. We just keep on keeping on. Go for shifts. This is the final, the final secret recipe. And we'll have them all. I don't even really need to steal prestige anymore, but I can't hire more bards, so. Actually, I might be able to. That was a mistake. I think I need more of these then, right? Wait, can I even get more of those? I can. Hmm. We might have a new job for you. So here's the question. This is obviously... End game. Look, I can get 9,000 crowns right now. So end game, I think this is literally the best way to make money. But here's the question. How do you think we get as much profit as possible? Because my guess is either... Like, we need to have as many people, right? But we need to have also these overlapping sale bones. Bones? We're actually running out of space here. Hmm. Like that's only a one. Wait, can I do it this way? The question really is, do you just have a bunch of these game tables? Or do you try and get like a bank, a proper banquet setting going? It's also worth noting that, uh, oh, here we go. Banquets and these little game tables attract different clientele, right? So I suppose if you're trying to stack upscale, you'd want more banquets. And if you're trying to stack working, you'd have more of these. I actually think these are not great, because you can only fit two people here, right? Yeah, it's two patrons, but six squares. This is eight patrons, but... Hmm. I don't know. I think this needs to be moved. Yeah, we move this up here. Can we bring a table down here? This is messed up. This needs to be changed. I'm not sure how I would change this, though. Hmm. So I think the solution here... Yeah... Hmm. This is the inefficient bit right here. Which is where, you know, everything came in and was just plopped down here. But I definitely think I can add more here. Like, there's probably a world where I can add a banquet table here, actually. 
Yeah, so we can have double round table here. I'm not sure if there's a world where I get another banquet table. Well, possibly. Like, if we move Hammy over here. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure what's most efficient for the space. I guess that's the way to put it. Oh yeah, Hammy, increase that sale chance. You put that there. Now we have this space over here. My sale odds are already pretty good. If we have you guys here, I can probably fit in another... I can put another banquet table. Is that what I want though? Or do I want round table? Not round table. We'll try a banquet. I have so much money I can just sit here all day. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. We could bring a light over here in the corner. Oh, it's a two by two. Oh yeah, I could still be in the corner. We could even fit a game table here. Just like right here. There's no space left. Boom. Beautiful. That'll do for now. I think this could be improved still, but I think for now... This is looking pretty good. Two high-class candlesticks as you walk in. Seems good. And we're still full security, full comfort, all that crap. All that crap, and we are aging. What are we aging? Gin. I believe this is full... Yeah, this is fully aged. So, didn't I have... Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you. So now you need to switch over to something else. To age it itself. How many shall we do better than one? Then just reserve that. Okay. Seems good. And if we need money, we'll take it out. And we might actually end up needing money because there's a lot of stuff to upgrade. But all things to consider. Hurria became a master. Very good. So by Hurria becoming a master journeyman, she has 12% crit hit rate. You love to see it. I just need to make some hooks for good old uh, <laughs> Le Emperor. To make sure that he was doing the right stuff, you know? We can't have the Emperor of Mankind using trash, basic bitch fishing hooks. That's unacceptable. Something that cannot be tolerated. I also forgot something that I wanted to show you. And of course click on, because uh, on the bottom right... Our compendium has been yelling at us for quite some time because I have a whopping 13 knowledge points. And I wasn't quite sure where to spend them, but this popped up. I don't know where this came from. But we have Poison Mastery. Which increases poison effectiveness just in time for uh, Malefic Card to pick up on it. Plus 1% of the target's HP per application. Boom. Points used. But there's another thing we got. We have opened up the Sailing tab, and I guess this is where you get, um, like, the improved stuff, which is all well and good, but you also have commands. I don't know what these actually do, uh, but we're going to learn them all. So, the ship gains plus, or one extra knot when the wind's effect is positive, okay. The ship gains one extra knot when the wind's effect is neutral, an extra knot when the wind's effect is negative, okay. While at sea, the troop eats less food, you love to see it. The ship can be retrieved from a dock for a cost in crowns that depends on the distance. Oh, nice. When the wind doesn't completely fill the gauge, rowing provides one additional knot. Nice. 
and winds are displayed more precisely. Cool. Simple geometry. We probably also want to learn this because we're going to be catching... I'm assuming we're going to be catching those things with Magnus as the fisherman. Oh, hey. Oh, I need a bass for this. Oh. Well, whatever. We have made it to St. Elior Abbey. This played a very important role early on. I don't want to die. Not so soon. Well, in this zone, but there's something missing here. Lord Vanalis sent me to tend to the injured, but without providing me with the resources to do so, oh, is this it? I would be very grateful if you could supply me with some flowers, specifically snow irises. There you go. Thanks to you, I can finally get to work. Thank you very much. Take this. I hope it will prove useful. Is this the one camp item I'm missing? It could be. Also, this is teasing me. The sparkling wine thing here. Lewin is leveling so slowly. Through the final stages of the thing. Yep, this is the last thing I'm missing. Okay. Let's make it so I get the achievement. Oh, I might not have this stuff. Ugh. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, I don't. Missing leather. Oh, speaking of missing leather. What does this go into? Oh, the same thing. Okay, we can use the rat corpses for that. Very good. And because Kami is now level 11, let's bring in someone who else who needs to level. Who else needs to go up a level? Our Capitan, but... Sovereigns! There you go. Snape. Snape. Tavarus. Snape. Level up! I regret to inform you, the question mark on the map was not a sepulcher, but a roust field. Alright, what do you want? I can't believe we bothered rebuilding this place for nothing. Absolutely. The Colonel allowed us to fix it up. Only to then proclaim that Roost is unworthy of the Legion. We have to change Rivera's mind. Our soldiers' morale depends on it. Good luck with that. Is he here? Wait. You think I'm wasting my time? Legionaries promised me a large audience, but they still haven't started playing. It's not your fault. I hope the Colonel will let... You're going to make me go talk to him, aren't you? Uh where even is he? Okay, he's right over there. The things I do for a game I don't want to play. Also, these guys are still fighting, which is... Certainly... Something. You were not mercy. You defeated a whole Hey, let your people play. The church has asked the general to let the war decide the land's fate, but the conflict is dragging on. My scouts told me that you played an important part in resolving this conflict. I sure did, and I totally remember what it was. Know that the General and I are truly grateful. Hey, play Rouse. Mercenaries, I will not let my men roll around in the mud when they're meant to represent the kingdom. End of discussion. You are dismissed. Great! Does that mean I don't have to do it? <laughs> My scouts told know that the jet Okay. I'm serving under Hmm. I have no work. Interesting. Do I have to go back and tell them the bad I mean What did the Colonel say? 
He said no. By the beast's fangs, he's as stubborn as a crock swine. We don't have a choice. We must bypass the colonel and send our request directly to the Legion's quartermaster. And where are they? Find two officers willing to support us. They will have to send a sworn statement to the capital. As in Gosenberg? But a corporal form 6.B is enough. But a lieutenant should at least sign affidavit 5.7.90.G. Please tell me I don't have to remember this. Uh, okay. Here's a corporal. Most absolutely not mercenaries. Here. I, I admit I wouldn't turn down a few coins. Well then, tell me what I need to sign. Uh, six point B. Done. This letter will leave with the next messenger. So where do I find a lieutenant? <sighs> I don't know. Perfect mercenaries. Everything is in place. Our friend the corporal was very cooperative. Next stop, the lieutenant. Mm hmm. And where is the lieutenant? Was there one back in the Rouse camp? Also, it wouldn't let me click on that to go back in. Couldn't tell you why. Well, tell me on the map. That'd be really great. That'd be fantastic. It's not going to tell me on the map, is it? Well, let's check the Rouse Field. If the Rouse Field's not there, or if it's not there at the Rouse Field, then I don't have to play Rouse. <laughs> Shit. An official request to the Empire. Look, mercenaries, this could seriously jeopardize my career. I really want to play, but here's some here's this some money. Make up nicely for any loss I sustain. Absolutely. Which form do I need to send again? This one, I think. Very well. It'll be done as soon as possible. Excellent work, mercenaries. Now, we just need to pray to the God of Light while we wait for an answer from the Quartermaster. Okay. Excellent work, man. Well, don't mind me. Wouldn't it be annoying if it was just one rest and they already got an answer? Ah, uh, the things I do for completionism. I know I shit on Rouse a lot. Because honestly, not my favorite mechanic of the game. And here I was going to say something nice about it. I, I kind of like it more now that I understand a bit more about it. I learned a lot having to replay it. <laughs> Believe it or not. That'll do. So, I'm looking for the alchemist creme brulee. I wonder if I can change that to be a different specialty. I'll eat one of those, who cares? Okay, we've met all of the requirements this time. We don't need to reduce any suspicion. Oh, I'm already good on food. See, that, that I think was unhappiness from quantity, but whatever. It's fine. Alchemist Creme Brulee Urson is now an agitator. I if that's something we want our bodyguard to be, but Red Sonia is level 11. Well done. I'll need to get her some gear soon. So who else needs to catch up alongside Sovereus? Oh yeah. Well, now that she's going to have a nice fancy stick, I suppose it's worth... It's worth doing. Okay. To the tavern! New shift. 
Oh, I had someone to talk to. What's up? No. What's up? For a modest fee, my troop and I are willing to perform any piece from our repertoire. Come on, then. We're not expensive, and it'll add a little atmosphere. Just choose which piece you'd like us to put on. Sure. Let's go with, um, mystery. Choose a very serious and slightly boring religious piece. Why not? I like how it pointed out that it was very boring. It's very boring. Oh, hey, look. A chance to acquire ghostly stuff. Can't say I particularly care. Perhaps I should. These lower level ones, I found you can only get one colossal paw at a time. Wait, is that just how it works and I forgot? Because <sighs> the final the final tier of like the the cherry on top, there we go. Of our power. Should I try and search the pendulum here? The the cherry on top of our power is gonna be getting colossal armor layers, right? There is something here. Somewhere. Kind of. Oh. We're getting closer and farther away at the same time. Oh. Hey, I got a ruby. That wasn't worth it. Also, the Spring of Origin has a thing here again. <laughs> I did get a comment saying that back where I got the treasure, there was another thing for the pendulum. I have to go back and check. Uh, the one over here. There's like another discovery. Right, wolves. So this was the place. You know who I'm looking for. Um, where they wanted to poison the well in the Civil War. And I was like, no, that's a dick move. And then the religious guy won the war because I didn't let them do that. Yeah, that. Okay. I'm not sure why that was the point, but... Also, this is an invisible wall. We're coming up on... Is it you? I guess that's an empty space. Run, heretics! Fear the divine wrath of the all-seeing eye and Saint Jeru! These lands must be cleansed of ungodly souls. Blood will wash away their sins. Death to the heretic trackers. Let the light sweep away their pagan idols and bestial gods. Okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, I don't really care. Technically, the religious guy won this zone anyway. Where is he? There he is. I mean... I think this is, uh... Oops. I missed. Very lackadaisical about this, as you can tell. Okay. Is your weapon any good? That's the real question here. Purgatory. Eternal Youth. It deals 80% strength damage to the units in the area. If this... Hit Attack hits several targets. This unit heals themselves for 20% of their max health. Interesting. Huh. Now, health recovery is not particularly important. Until it is. It's one of those things. Hmm. Hmm. The developers think no one would ever go over here, so they didn't bother putting floor here. I bothered, though. I did it. 
I came over to No Man's Land where there's nothing. It'd just be like that. Okay, so we actually got... We completed all the things here, but the completionism drives me ever further. Ever further. And I'll see you in the Rouse Fields after the Emperor fishes. That node is on the land, but that's okay. Alright, welcome back to the Roust Field. Now before we go into this, I did acquire... What do you think it would be under? Not miscellaneous. I, requ I acquired a... It was a backpack thing, right? This. The Roust Trophy. Chance to land a punch increased by 5% per level in the woodcutter profession. So, for... Ricochet. Increases by one the production of all camp tools during active rest. That's actually pretty good. Is this for everybody, or is this just for her? I imagine it's just for her. But we can give this to... Ricochet. And she can punch better. Finally, mercenaries. We've got the authorizations we need. Colonel Rivera's can't stop us now. So, how about a match? After all this time, our players can't wait to get back on the pitch. All right. Um, I should cut someone out. And I think it's going to be Sovereus. Sorry, bud. This is going to be Ricochet instead. And she can be a defender. Maybe she should be team captain now, actually. Yeah, okay. Players need to circumvent the obstacles littering the field in order to score. Okay. She's the highest level, so she's the captain. That's the main. My excuse. All right. Do I just run it down? I think I'm going to. If we're doing a tactics thing, then what I should do... Let's try it, actually. Let's try being tactical. Oh, I've already messed it up. Oh, wait, no, the captain has to go first. Never mind. Just kidding. Screw tactics. We outie. Honestly, um, so the tactical thing I think to do here would be to, like, try and kick the ball over here to the edge. What? That was very bizarre. Uh, kick the ball over here to the edge, and then have someone who can run, which is currently nobody, um, try and get over here, catch it to reset their turn to run it in. Beautiful tackles. Oh my goodness. So he caught it and reset his turn, which is what I kind of wanted to do here. I mean, this is the same thing, right? Wow, this guy's going next. Uh, he gets to choose, that's true. Okay. So ideally, we send, like, Red Sonia here to the mid. The ball fall. Oh, it's not going to reset our turn. I think in order to get a reset turn, you have to have a turn left. I don't really want to run through this guy. I want to just run down. Oh, she didn't even catch it. Mute point. He can still punch when he gets up, but it doesn't matter. 
Okay. So we can score three points here. Possibly. It depends how the AI reacts, really. It's a 79%. I think it's safer to kick. Let's see what the AI does. Get owned. El Capitan. Oh, that's bullshit. I see. So we're really hoping that Fade catches this. Beautiful. Fantastic. Because he can stand on this. Does this reset if she is not an attacker? We're going to find out. It does. Okay. So now we have both balls. We're actually safe here because they can't come straight at me. And now we score and get three points. Done. So I still don't know exactly what the rule is for resetting the action with a toss. Maybe it just happens, like if he gets caught with a kick. Maybe they have to be decks, maybe they have to be attacker. I actually have no clue. It'd be great if you can just pick up this. Ooh, okay. My greed may have gotten me in trouble. That's okay. We can try and be greedy. You know what the solution to greed is? More greed. Can't believe that didn't work. I made a speech and everything. See if El Capitan can catch this. Wow, that went really far. I suppose he's not the captain here, but he's the captain of the team. The mercenary crew. Wow, get owned, I guess. Um. Okay. Let's see if we can kick this really far. Be great if they if Magnus catches this, and it'd be really not great if he doesn't. I guess Red Sony just comes in for the guarantee. Ooh, now it's a 50 50 again. Okay. Ninety percent knockout chance on a defense character. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. I don't know what just happened there, but I'll take it. I think Red Sonia has to go. All we have to do is just annoy them. Like, even if they score once, I think we'll still be okay. You tried knocking down Urkashant? Oof. Big oof, bro. Urkashant's not gonna put up with your shit. Did I not ha- I had it for a second. There we go. Let's go, Patia. This could be bad. Hmm. So I could pick up Apathia to make sure one of us gets this ball.
Or I could be aggressive. I think it's what I'm gonna do. Wow, okay, never mind. Good news, no one got the ball. Except for this guy. Okay. Punished for greed. It happens. Often. I'm kind of okay with Magnus staying here. But maybe we can pull him back a bit and see if I can get a toss. Or a kick or something. Again, all we're doing now is buying time. I don't actually have to score, although I probably could. Right, Sonia stands up, we just run it down. Okay. Thank you for answering the question I was about to have. I was literally just about to ask, can I punch and run at the same time? And the answer is yes. Unfortunately, this guy's still going to catch me. Maybe I should switch all my strength characters. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, this is bad, actually. Hmm. Okay, Magnus. You're on defense, bud. Okay. Even with keep the line, you failed? He still picked it up! Oh. Fuck me. Reed is good. Oh, you couldn't catch me. Wow. Let's hope they don't score. Yeah, I think I need to switch my strength characters to defense and then my... Ah, oh, I can only punch... Mm. Uh, my dex characters to attacker. I was with keep the line. I feel like keep the line's a trap. More often than not, it feels trappy. I mean, what's a pot that you're gonna do? Stand up? Sure. But hey, it's the only thing I can press once I'm, you know, done. They're gonna score here. Nope. All's on Magnus. That's 80%. So they're gonna try for the 85 punch. We missed, of course. Go for the 80%. We whiff, of course. How unlucky can you be? Well, let's answer the question. Just score. All right. GG, team. We did it. We won. I have one goal now. Motherfucker. My only purpose in life now... is to make sure they do not score. That's it. If they score, they can kind of like bug out the game. We encountered that earlier. So. I'm just gonna take everyone who's good at punching. And uh, hang out. Draw it out. No one can reach that, I don't think. Or that, so. GG. Do what you want. I don't care. Stand up and punch me. Wow, okay. GG. 
Oh, it goes on my round. Eighty-five percent with naturally. Okay, this is the final round. For sure. 7% with naturally. I should have been in position to try and catch this, but I think it's fine. Like, even if... I don't want them to score, of course, but even if they did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Alright, GG. Now we won. Now there is no conceivable way for them to get it. So now I'm just going to skip in my turns. Alright, thank you, Legion. Your fight was almost as bad as the one with the pig, but not quite as bad. Especially because I don't have to redo it. I don't think the quick save button works in combat. Oh, there it goes. Just in case. Hey, we did it! Yay! Of all the opponents we could have faced, you're certainly the only ones we're happy to lose to. It's a pleasure to offer you this fine reward. Is that because I made it so you can actually so, play this game? What did you think? Not bad, eh? Come back whenever you want. We're not about to abandon this pitch. I don't want to come back. Can't get enough of the pitch, eh? I have a question, and I almost don't want to know the answer. So, the reason to do a hard mode arena is because you get titles for doing so. Please tell me there are not titles for hard mode roust. Please. For the love of the dark gods, I don't want there to be titles for hard mode roust. Okay. I mean, this is a very good piece of armor, but it's not upgradable. It's level four as well. What do you take me for? A scrub? All right, but that was everything. We have completed all of our tasks in the county of Arthes. And now, I think I'm going to head down to this Brotherhood training camp for two things. First off, we have some, up, some weapons to upgrade for science. Second of all, I would like to try Halberdier, and I think I'm going to give it to Maleficar. Although the whole thing about... This is one of those things I can't reach. Darn. Uh, the whole, you know, shtick for Maleficar was that he was a herald of the Dark Gods, but... Blood for the Blood God, you know? Blood for the Blood God. Skulls for the Skull Throne. It's time to shank some bitches. Um, wait, is there not one here? Is it you? Wouldn't surprise me if count. Ah, oh, there's not one here, is there? Those guys no, there over there are oh. rubbish. Completely hopeless. Don't make the same mistake. Learn new skills. So we have the Croc Sting here. And this is the throwing weapon for our harpooner. Going from 21 strength to 26 strength. 26 to 34. 34 to 43. And now to 52. Uh, she is level 10, I believe. Do I want to upgrade this? The only problem guys over there are rubbish. we have completely hopeless is that I believe Lewin is the person who would use this. Has lone yeah, he already has lone wolf. Hmm. Not you. I'm not sure if Maleficar is the person for this, but we'll give it a shot. Take your time to get used to all right, bud. I definitely want Valorous support still. We're going to go Halberdier. And, um, 
Each time an adjacent ally is attacked by an enemy, deals 47 to this target. Team Spirit. This unit kills an engaged enemy in combat with an ally. And this unit kills an enemy engaged in combat with an ally. This unit and their ally gain dodge. That could be good. Oh, we went with preparedness, didn't we? Yeah. Let's take preparedness. And I like unstoppable. Can't stop it now. Alright, we're gonna need to get books. Those guys over there are rubbish. Completely hopeless. Don't make the for buying stuff. three. Learn stealing two. Skills, if you don't want to end up like them. Gunbaldo, how close are you to getting Master Thief? We're getting there. Okay. So Maleficar needs his chess piece back. There we go. And controlled whirlwind upgraded. Um ba -da 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 -da. So the damage increase for each unit in the target area is increased from 39 to 59. I mean, that's an obvious upgrade, I think. Oh. There's less stuff to upgrade than I thought. Well, I have three skill mastery books. We will give Lydric Althoven Dorp hardcore training. The benefit from this is you're still immune to the stuff, but if you would have gotten it, you now gain strength instead. So we'll give that to Magnus as well. Poor old Magnus. He doesn't even have a second oil on this. Because I'm like, he's not doing damage. There is no damage for him to do. I am a little sad about this whole last push thing, but... We get crit damage for Lewin, even though he has a very low crit ch chance. Okay. One day the Inquisitor will need some more love. But until then, we've used all of our books. That was everything. Yes. Let's try out the Croc Sting. Wait. Who else had levels? Red Sonia. And Sovereus. No, Sovereus is about to level. Don't take his weapon. It was Cammy. Those guys over there. So the devotion is going from 43 strength to 55. My goodness. Incredible. Oh wait, no, I need to do this once more. There we go. Right? Those guys yes. over there are rubbish. Completely hopeless. Don't make the same mistake. Learn new skills if you don't want to end up like them. Right. So, Hardy can actually change some of these now. Because these are like. I gave her defensive stuff because the Liberator wants her to be in melee. But now that she can focus on like crit stuff. Because, um. The ranged weapon. It's a ranged weapon. Shocker. There's a mine down here. Uh, before I fish, is there iron in this mine? <gasps> there is iron in this mine. So now that we've done what we wanted to do, it is time, I think, to hit the Arena of Legends. Actually, maybe I should... I don't want to do this. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. There's even more iron over here. Yes, Sovereign. Find me all the etherites. I have much Arcadian to make. In fact, we can even go make our first Arcadian weapons for a particular punchy lady. Does Kami use her legs in Street Fighter? I think she does. Hammy and Gunbaldo's relationship has improved. The promotion items have changed. Oh. No one wants to talk? Let's check out the tavern. The tavern of taverns. Now, I'm kind of annoyed. I think I said this last time as well. Where my beautiful setup here is so calculated that I'd rather eat the losses from the shortage malice, then I would rather change things. 
Like, everything is so intertwined. I think eventually we do want to have this, though. I'm so close to being able to make this. What am I missing? Gosenberg wine. Do I not have that? I don't have that yet. Okay. I imagine I'm about to be stealing that in a hot second. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. Oh, see what I mean? But I think ultimately, once we do get it, we're going to want to make sure we're selling this because this uh, has universal clientele attraction. I believe it's the only thing in the game that does. I I'm assuming. You know what they said about assumptions, though. How about some cherry fritters? Great. But yeah, we'll work it all out eventually. But first, I want to try something. So we can go here to Tavern Management, and we can withdraw 100 copper for 100 crowns. I see. The number goes down as you do it. Is that permanent or just for the shift? Let's find out. I have stolen every cooking recipe. Got two fish tartar and a hippocross. Let's go to Rival Taverns. That means we can set up a new chef, I suppose, right? And we're going to go Brewer. We can try this, just rip it one turn, because that's when this person will come back, and then we'll be back in back in business. Oh, I cannot add another chef. Oh, okay. The Scullions use seasoning to improve dishes and sell them at a higher price. Okay. So that means that uh, Urard kind of set up a job for a bit. I can have one more brewer. This is what a hiding toss will do. It does go back up. Interesting. Okay. That's, I guess, to prevent you from... Here at the end game, I thought I'd just have infinite money. But it looks like they do have some cap on it. Is it enough of a cap? Questionable. Debatable. Speaking of debates... Snape, Snape, Savarus, Snape, level 11. Which means, one, I have to upgrade his weapon. Two, that was slightly sighing because I just walked away from them. But two, my team's getting pretty expensive, isn't it? Might she be looking here as your reward? We're going. Uh, to need to make him gear as well. Look how empty this room is before the war. Which is totally fine. Did your trading stuff come back? That's what I was here for. Oh, I don't believe a word it did. she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. They've been running rampant in these parts since oh, since the beginning of the war. Something, something. The trade empire is not needed anymore. My meat is quite pungent. Quite pungent. The war drags on. And You're the pungent. Of... Okay. Yeah, my money is really starting to run out. Well, I guess that's a reason to keep trading. I'm glad the trade empire isn't completely... wasted. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. They've been running rampant in these parts since... Oh, since the beginning of the war. Hmm. Okay. I just need to deposit some stuff. We have lots of iron and whatnot that we've been carrying around. Let me see if I can make anything worth my time. Okay. So, I have managed to make a few things. And we're gonna make... Oh, I forgot. I haven't, um... I haven't actually made all of the things I can make. Even though I have learned quite a few things. So we're going to make an improved gurney. I'm going to try and see if this will give me the achievement. It might not. I might have to make everything here, which would be super annoying. But it is what it is. We have the improved gurney. Will this be the achievement? That'd be fantastic. 
I am short on a rope. Good news, I have so much hemp. Actually, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say I have so much hemp, I almost don't know what to do with it, but that's not true. I have a lot of uses for hemp. Let's not get over... overly creative here. Okay, this will be the final level of the gurney. A healthy unit assigned to the stretcher gets the drugged up status. Interesting. That unfortunately was not the achievement. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Because I believe what the gurney does... Yeah, one injury is healed during a rest. So we can actually heal injuries using this instead of using resources. And it looks like if I want the achievement, which let's be honest... I do. I need to make sure I, I can make the die and the whip as well. So we'll make the whip. You can whip your companions to encourage them to work. No. We're going to leave that there. No. Put it there. I'm not going to whip. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible thing. Where there's a whip. Good old. Is that from The Hobbit? The animated series? Or the actual... I think it was the actual Lord of the Rings animated series. And it looks like... I just need to make the die. But I am supremely out of cloth. Like, truly ridiculous shortage levels. Speaking of truly ridiculous shortage levels... Uh... It's kind of funny, slash annoying, that all of my resources are just scattered throughout the different zones because I I obviously put them in here when I'm done with them. So now each of my different zones have different varying levels of resources. So I'm going to store all of the the made-by-troop. I Actually, I could probably... I could sell them now, couldn't I? I'll take it back. We're not going to... We're not going to do that. If it is made by troop, we're selling it right now. Right this instance. Get it out of my vault. I almost thought about making a short of that, you know. Behold! My stuff. Because <laughs> I feel like this would be the perfect opportunity. So the reason why I wanted to hoard all of this, which I guess I'm not going to anymore. If we go into here... We find our friend, and we press Trade Fair. The sale price of crafted item is increased by 50%. So now, we go into the market, El Marqueto. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. We sell our junk. They've been running rampant in these parts since, oh, since the beginning of the war. We look for stuff. So now, these should be, these are worth almost 400 compared to what they were previously. We're wrench. Okay. Seems good. I'm going to keep this spear around just in case I hate the throwing spear, which is an entire... entirely possible. I could hate the throwing spear. You never know. Also, fun little thing I found while exploring. Which makes me mourn my loss of Gosenberg wine even further. Kimmy. Look at her. She's gorgeous. I was able to make the chess piece for her and the Acadian Steel Qatar. But I put the Braves Oil on it. So when this unit uses a Valor-based skill, which look how many she has, she has a 50% chance to regain a temporary Valor, which means it is effectively free. And yes, there is an Oil Concentrate for this, which would go over this, which is fine by me. This could be given to anybody. But I need a Gosenberg Wine <laughs> in order to make it. So uh, the hunt is on. We're done in Cortia. Let's not get captured, shall we? We're done in Cortia, and we're heading over here. On our way to our secret spot, we'll be upgrading Prosperity. This is Sovereign's weapon from plus 61 to plus 78 strength. If Incredible. If your companions doesn't carry their weight, don't be afraid to teach them you. Well, I was going to say, don't be afraid to evict them. Although I don't know why he would say that. He said the same thing every single time we meet him. But we're back over near the very first tomb. A dark pursuit of knowledge. And the reason I'm here is because someone left a comment 
a reliable source left a comment saying there was one more secreto over here. And, well, I'm a sucker for secretos. So. Let's take a look, shall we? The Astral Instruments. One can track the course of the stars through the lens of this incredible, accurate, incredibly accurate mechanism. After a rest, companions next to the instrument will start their next fight with inspiration, doubling their movement. It's actually not that helpful. I mean, it's okay. What's up, Heria? Not only am I a very capable fighter, but I'm also an accomplished artisan. Who wouldn't want to marry me? Oh. I mean, yeah, I'll take 30 relationship. Or 30 inspiration for free. Influence. Words. Okay, Sovereigns can come off of this. And who... Ah. Le Emperor, of course. I didn't try what this was. Maybe I should have. But here in the tavern, we have stolen Genepi. Before I first came to your fine tavern, I thought all foreign cuisine was bland and uninspiring. But thanks to your scullion, I've changed my mind. And I'm not the only one. Almost all of our comrades were quite homesick before you set up shop here. If your delicious dishes hadn't been there to boost their morale, some of them would have deserted. You're welcome. So, as their captain, I wanted to offer you this gift as a token of our gratitude. Another armor stand. Nice. Also, my security plummeted. Uh, so we're going to have to boost that number up, I think. I don't really have any more... Oh, hey. Is this really the only slot left? I think it is. Could I fit this here? No, it's too fat. Well, this isn't quite where I want it, but... Oh, there we go. We can put it next to Urson. That'll do. Urson. Oh, that boosted my security quite a bit. We want to con excuse me, consider another one. Because right now, Urar isn't doing anything. I don't think it should make it particularly good. Bouncer? But, um... Especially because she's in clothes. Look at her. She's in rags. Ugh. Ruining my image. That's okay. Now our security should be fine. Perfectly fine. We're going to go steal this. Also, that our one turn steal worked, which is insane. We'll try for two shifts. Can I? Should I put down another bar? I don't think I should. Is there a reason to continue stealing prestige? I don't know. Part of me thinks no. Anyway, get some more money, shall we? Guerreron became a butcher. Gonna borrow some money. Okay. I'm so rich I could just endlessly eat that. Come on now. Game. When one piton doesn't work, just place on another. It's fine. Okay. A second secreto. Okay, I don't see a second secret here according to the pendulum. I could be off, I could be wrong, but um, I walked around for a bit and I think I slowed down. I think I'm convinced there's not one here. 
I think we're okay. I think we're chilling. Unless there's one way over here. No. I think we're good. Again, I could have missed it, but that's what I'm going with right now. And now we're going to head over to Strom Cap. Am I going to play Roust again? So on my way to Strom Cap, I was able to buy Gosenberg wine from a wandering merchant using the roads that we so graciously built for them. And no, I will never let them forget that. I think I was also able to buy cloth, actually. No, I was. We're still missing cloth. That's okay. But with that Gosenberg wine, I was able to construct four. Kiemi. Well, eventually fine. The Braves Oil Concentrate. So now, every time she spends an, an action point, a Valor Point, we should get a temporary Valor Point in return, which means she can effectively spam her entire toolkit in one go, and we can laugh at people. Also, my lawyers have advised me, i.e. my cat and the dire penguin plushie that's staring at me, I should only do one Rouse match per episode before I go insane. And you know what? I agree. I agree. Sure, we'll deplete the suspicion meter faster. Actually, hold on. Are we doing combat? This is a combat moment. I do want to end with the... Okay, we're going to end with the Rally of Leeches, so we're going to go full combat here. And what full combat looks like is probably... This for crit damage. Love me some crit damage. That for alertness. This for more crit damage. I believe this would count, maybe. Increased constitution. We're not even using the big foods. Clefauti. That will do, I think. Or I should add an alcohol that's good. Uh, like this one. Nope, not that one. That one. There we go. My brain is warning me about something. Yes, this. Honestly, I don't think this is very important. But, I mean, it could be. We'll let Gunbaldo and Cami get inspiration? Sure. Because Lewin's coming with us to the combat, so... We're doing just fine. Oh, I was about to say, maybe I forgot something. I did. I wish there was just like a small number above this counting down, then I would never forget it. But hey. Hello! A wedding was held. Our infiltration missions failed. How unfortunate. Okay. We'll do four again. Back to the four, no big deal. Okay. Do I need to change... Um... Yes, I do. So we're going to sell this. And now we're going to reserve. The rum's gone. You could just sell brandy. And then reserve this. Or actually not selling much of it. I wonder if that's a sign. Could be. Push the shift. Okay. Oh, hello. The missions that the Legion is assigned to outside of Edoran are incredibly important and must be completed with great diplomacy and rigor. That puts a lot of pressure on our soldiers. And your tavern opened up at just the right moment. Saint Jeru be praised. We finally have a place to loosen up our armor and relax. And speaking of armor, we wanted to give you a set. I insist. 
Our troop and all the Legion soldiers really owe you a debt of gratitude. Okay. An armor stance. Another one. Out of curiosity. If we unassign Urard, we go down to 92 security. When we come back in here, we plop down the armor set for the Legion. It needs to be moved around. There we go. And we're back over 100. Nice. His armor looks quite like what Randonel is wearing, but it's not quite the same. Beautiful! Alright, we'll return their stupid pony, but that's it. We did have a reward for the winner. All that's left of our, our team won't play if there's no decent. Huh? Oh. Alright, we'll leave this for next episode. I thought that um by killing the wolves over here I had freed the pony, but. That'll be our contractually obligated rouse match next episode. Have a look, mercenaries. I sell quality wares for a reasonable price. I got caught. Uh so when I fought in the guards in the Gosenberg City on the episode that doesn't exist. Oh, I can't quick save now? Oh shit. Uh they were level 13 and there was an endless wave of them. Now, while this hurts my soul, I'm going to give them 2,700 as let me go. Thank you for your contribute. Oh, the pain. Hey, Tavern, I need some money. I need to, I need to make a loan. Take a loan. Okay, that was quite a lot, but hey. The things we do for achievements. All right, we're heading to the Arena of Legends. And then we'll call for a day. Welcome, my friends, to the arena of legends. Please go in. This is the apex quest for power and glory. Oh, it's you, mercenaries. I take it you received my letter? Absolutely. Eventually, er, once upon a time. It is my honor to tell you that you are now among the chosen few allowed to fight in the arena of legends. This is a privilege bestowed only upon the strongest warriors in the five kingdoms. Great. There are no ordinary fighters here. Contestants like you must face champions from other regions in a series of back-to-back -back fights with various configurations. For now, your rank only allows you to join the fifth league. Are you up to the challenge? Absolutely. Okay. Sure. So, I want, of course, Raycor, Luin Leonker, Apatia, and Urkashet. This is the team that we're going in with. So the special rules, allied units gain fragility status when they are burning, clouds of poison appear under all the units at the end of each turn, and flasks are thrown at the player's units at the end of each round, preventing them from moving during the next round. Let us begin. I couldn't quick save. That's okay. Okay. Are you sure this is a good idea? Because don't I just, uh, Walk over here and her blow. Why, yes, I do. Her blow. Okay. GG, no ray. I see. Perkashet must be engaged in combat. So we actually do not want Raycor here. I like how Urkashet has more strength than the champion. 
You love to see it. So who do we want in her stead? Probably Cammy, right? Very unfortunate this isn't a backstab. But I think Apathy is going to be fine anyway. Can actually go over here and bandage or cachettes. I hope it doesn't make me keep this team. Um, burning is a one time thing, right? So. Okay. Lewin won't be able to help too much here. And she can he can cleanse this and then do a little bit of a stab. Double stab. If we weren't on fire, we could try and go for a surround bonus. But we are on fire. We are very much on fire. I actually think this person is gonna die to dots. Oh, nope, we got it. Well done, Raycor. Raycor must not move. I don't know about that one. Cleanse her burning. Apati's going to play a huge role in this. It looks like throughout the whole thing. We might want... Oh, I didn't upgrade Red Sonia's weapon. We want her involved for sure. Probably. We want her involved for sure. Probably. I didn't realize this could crit now. Make sure we heal Lewin a little bit. I could throw another dagger, but I don't think I have to. I think she's low enough. Do we go for surrounds? I don't think she has an AoE. Ricochet is already on fire, so it doesn't matter if she moves through this. Uh, we definitely don't want to be staying next to her, though. Good. Great. Lived to 13, really. Alright, the poison tick got her out of here. By Saint Jeru, that was incredible. No one has ever defeated those champions so quickly. Thank you, thank you. Here is your reward. I hope you will find it worthy of your talents. The champion's buckle. Feel free to fight the fifth league champions again. You need to improve your reputation before you can challenge the fourth league. How do I improve my reputation? I have a feeling I already have. The champions buckle, you say? There we are. The troops gain two temporary valor if it has no valor points at the start of the round. That is very good. Interesting. Redstone is level 11. Oh, we did upgrade her axe. Nice. She doesn't have Acadian gear, but Cammy does. So then Cammy is going to come in over Raycor. Raycor, you've done well, but um, this is not an AoE encounter. I don't know who to give this to. I guess no one for now. Buy whatever you want. That's what my shop is for. I like how you have five aim manuals. You have enough reputation to challenge the fourth league of champions, but you can continue fighting in the fifth league if you so wish. Oh, really? 
Critical requirements. Oh, there are two. In this one. This might be a... Well... I think we'll pull out Raycor and bring in Kami. We will probably eventually need Raycor, but for now we'll just bring big dick single target deeps. Actually, Aponte is not going to be great for Koko and Toro. Gunbaldo might actually be better. Hmm. Should bring Gunbaldo instead. Apati is insane against these single targets because she uh, she has the assassinate. Whatever it's called. The Edite Sanction. Let's bring in Gunbaldo. Let's give Gunbaldo a shot. I mean, you know the rules, right? You're not supposed to change more than one thing at a time for troubleshooting. All companions must move. Easy peasy. Falun has so much armor. We'll get Urkoshet to tank. Shall we test Kami's capabilities? Go away. Hi, right, Kumbaldo. Thank you for proving my point. <laughs> Bailing requirement from the crowd heals all enemies for 20% of its max health. Okay. Luwen Kerr must not move. Don't like that. So we have Kogo and Toro. These are the guys who like to be next to each other. I think I'll try and tie this guy up. Although he does spin. He spins doing. Their damage is kind of insane. Yeah. I think I'm going to fail this action on purpose here. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? I'm gonna one-tap this guy. Yep. I should not have. So Frenzy really only does damage when um my back is turned to them. Did the guy spawn because I messed up the assignment? Hmm. Alright, Cammy, show me your stuff. Oh, beautiful. And now the final opponents. Each companion must end their turn next to an ally. So we have Vapors. Area applying stimulated to enemy units. Invigorated enemy units, I see. Alrighty. Gunbaldo. Time to win. So the reason why Gunbaldo does so much damage... Aw, uh, he didn't get the double attack. But this ability, Frenzy, is pretty crazy from behind. See what I mean? GG. Gunbaldo for the win. Yeah, Most this team is good. can't get past Kogo and Toro. You definitely deserve your award. And we got Saga. You can continue challenging the fourth league chap. I've received a letter. Really? Is this another accessory? No. What do you think it was? 
better yet, how low? Oh, there it is. <laughs> An upgradable shield. Show of force deals 30 to 40% strength damage to the target and applies vulnerability to all enemies adjacent to this target. Interesting. And it is upgradable. Hmm. The third league champions await. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but you're in for a tough fight this time. The Burning Beast. We have Trivetta. Oh, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. Do we bring in our own bear? Do we bring in the goat? No, I'm pretty happy with this team. This team is pretty crunk. Especially with our food bonuses that we've got. We're rocking right now. All companions must move. Easy peasy. I actually think I can kill him in one go. I think Gunbaldo just kills him here. Oh, he's immune to burning. That's right. Good job, Gunbaldo. Summon an enemy unit that deals a crit. Something, something. Attack opportunity. Lewin must not move. I really don't want to obey this, but I will. No. Yeah, okay. Okay. Chased. Oh, that sucks. But we can resolve this. So, Urkashet has more strength than the bear. Oh, shit. dead. I don't really want to be the one tanking this. Especially now that he's Berserk. It helps if I just win. You don't have to tank him if you just win. Forehead. Second round of Snow Leopards coming out. Oh. Fair enough. I'm not going to be able to complete this because of how far away we are, so I hope nothing bad happens. But Cammy is coming over here. Ah. You could just kill the bear here. Yeah, I'll just kill the bear. This will open up a... We'll spread burning, but it should open up... Oh, I need to ovation again. There we go. Surrounded. Uh, he's about to switch to Berserker Stance in a second. Here we go. Which increases his damage taken. So we win with ease. GG. Oh, I guess it wasn't that tough for you, eh? Take your reward. No one can deny you earned this victory. He went from being excited for me to slowly starting to hate I the fact that I'm winning. Will get over it. She looked really down. Or maybe you could fight her again to cheer her up. Isn't Alicia the bear? You want me to fight the bear again? And it was pretty straightforward. Okay. This was an accessory. Rod left hand glove. This unit deals 30% extra damage with thrown items. Does that include 
these. And instinctive throw. I don't think so. I think this is for um, the offhand items you can craft. Time to get serious, mercenaries. The second and first leagues are on a whole other level. Are you well prepared? By the way, my bonus is here. 15% increased constitution, 30% increased crit damage, 20% increased strength, 10% increased crit hit, and 20% increased dexterity, and well-fed. Uh, this is about as good as it's going to get. Oh, look at this. Man, we're going to need to fight everything, aren't we? We're going to need to come back and fight in hard mode. Smot, Nairoff, and Nasilla, and Kago and Toro. We did well enough. Do we bring in Raycor for this? Deal with these two? I mean, there's no guarantee they'll be close enough, right? Although these two spawn close. Whatever, we'll just do what we did before. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Smot must be engaged at the end of the round. Easy game, easy life. In fact, I'm pretty sure we just win here. With uh, Gunbaldo. GG, no ray. Enemy animals apply vulnerability every time they engage in combat. Oh, there's rats now. Do not attack the same unit twice. How about no? I'm going to have to um, inspiration next turn. He tried. Yeah, my requ I knew my requirement was failing. There was no doubt about that. Almost? No. No touch of death. I think Urkishet's about to kill this thing solo. Goodbye. I guess we're about to find out what happens to the rats. Okay. I'm like half a tile away. No need to be berserk, Alicia. Just die. Looks like the rats stick around, which could be a very unfortunate. This is convenient. Oh, next to an enemy. Shit. <laughs> That's next to an ally. Okay. Kogo has come to die. I thought, anyway. I mean, Cammy can kill him. Cammy can facilitate the kill on him. I... Ugh. Annoying. Well, I'm glad you have run. Let's run out of this. And go here. Do a sweep. He died. And I guess I'll just stab this then. Sure. Okay. I don't know who this guy's gonna engage, but it does worry me. Oh. Never mind. I'm not worried. Did I say I was worried? I'm not worried. I think Gunbaldo just domes him, even with his protection. So we just do this to rip the protection. Oh, it's a one turn thing? Ugh. Oh. Who cares? Gunbaldo wins the day. 
A masterful fight. And he's a duelist now. Our champions gave it their best, but you were even more fearsome. I bet you'll like this round's prize. The Hell Marvel Legend. So, what do you think? It was worth fighting Smot's rats, wasn't it? No. The Helmet of Legend gives the aura of power. As long as an enemy is adjacent to this unit, they are intimidated, reducing their damage or increasing their damage taken by 20%. Hmm. Hmm. That seems good. Oh, Ricochet. Possibly. It wants to be one of those characters who go in. Could be Ricochet. Could be Lewin. Possibly. Because his current thing is kind of bad. <laughs> I like the Venomous Coating on the Outlaw Helm. I mean, I could take the Venomous Coating off, but... Hard to say. We have reached the final stage. You can now take on the first lead. Yay! Few have managed to get this far. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I would see it in my lifetime. A special champion has arrived for this occasion. She's the best warrior in all of the five kingdoms, if you ask me. Made of the same stuff as the legendary Valerian. So, do you still feel up to challenging the first league? Do you have a good strategy? Is your gear in perfect condition? Of course. Deadly Commando. There is a single opponent. The Trophy of Legends. A single entity dares challenge me. Well then. Wait, can I inspect? Oh, look at that. That's a lot of armor. <laughs> okay. Lie, you fools. So I'll exchange, um... Lewin for Apathia. I'm gonna go all in on single target destroying this person. Let's go. All right, Sergeant Ada. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Oh, there's another one. This unit is trying to recover. Huh. I don't know what that means. Maybe I should have kept Lewin? Good destabilization there. No, I've been destabilized. Oh. I mean, technically, it's still good destabilization. It'd be even better if you weren't going to get one tap by, um... Apatia. But hey, it is what it is. Apatia must not move. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen after these guys recover. What does it mean that they're attempting to recover? Rude. Yeet. I thought that you recovered your thing after throwing daggers. Oh. She threw her equip dagger, not the big boy dagger. And by big boy, I just mean her talented one. Alright. Oh, is this just the captain? Patia must not take damage. Doable. Um, it's probably not great that Urkashet is destabilized. I don't think I quick saved before this either. Also, this guy can up be contained. 
on Forge. Okay. Fair enough. Encouraged by their master, dig deep to get back into the fight. Okay. Let's get rid of the archer first. I was really worried he'd go this way and then hit these two, but this is okay. Gunbaldo is going to come finish him. And then probably get the fuck out of here, to be honest. Okay. He's gone. It's unfortunate that Gunbaldo can't, um... Ow. Refresh his movement, but that's okay. Alright, Apathia is going to kill this. Like our former boss, I killed it. And then she is going to come deal with this a little bit. A little bit. Toss, toss, yeet. Then we'll come heal our friend as well. We just got rid of burning, I think. And we'll come stand in the corner. Oh. I didn't realize that was a trap. The burning I just got rid of. Oh. Shit. I thought that was something that was going to land, not something that was going to attack, uh, trigger when I walked over it, but... Okay, sure. Do not attack the same unit twice. Well, about that. And I got run for Cami. I talked about it in a previous episode and then just never did it. So I did it this time. Fatal touch. The finger of death. Alright, hold on, Cami. Gloombaldo. Perfect. All right. The sound of clashing metal rings from the other side of the arena. Heltrud enters to avenge her apprentices and assert her dominance. All right, what do you got? Commander's resilience absorbs a certain amount of sustained damage in rage at the end of the round if the absorption is still active. Okay. And frantic mark. Damage taken increased by 50%. It's a lot. Alright, Gumbaldo. It's all you. I don't even know what all the things you did were. Hiltred recovers and uses a relic of the Ancients. Bullshit. Cheater. Okay. Thank you, Gunbaldo. <laughs> I can't believe it. You defeated Hiltred. That's... I think that might be a first. You are champions among champions. Please allow me to give you this trophy. It's a great honor. The Trophy of Legends. So, you managed to conquer the Arena of Legends. What would you like to do now? Challenge our champions again, maybe? I would love to. 
next time. Power and glory. Following the path of power and glory. You have overcome many perils and defeated the mightiest warriors in the five kingdoms. Your company deserves its place amongst the strongest of the strong. Show credits. Isn't that the, the game credit roll? We did it. Is there a particular league? Oh, we get her gear. Wow. Interesting. So, I am going to... This is all upgradable. Interesting. I am going to do all of this on hard mode. I understand. And I'll do it next time. I didn't think anyone would ever defeat wow. Iltrad. I suppose I can sell you everything I have now. So she has five copies of all the manuals. Interesting. But... Oh, you ran out of food. The Trophy of Legends. This trophy was made to be carried on a belt, letting its holder boast without saying a word. Once per fight, this unit can use two base actions in the same turn. Raycar! <laughs> that is insane! I don't think it displays, but my goodness. Raycor. My barbarian queen. Swing and taunt twice. Ancient Idol was really good for her because she killed so many people, but I we're at the point where most fights, like any fight in the lower tier, it just instantly galvanizes and routes, and fights at the higher tier, there's just so fucking many of them that plus one is, doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'd rather swing twice, to be honest. Okay. Well, that, my friends, was the Arena of Legends. Let us see our completion. We can get uh, Left Hand Specialist, which is fine. I don't know if I've ever actually really made use. We can investigate that, I suppose, now. But we also got... Did we get Legendary Warriors? Every time one of your units kills an enemy, they deal 5% extra damage for the duration of the fight. Didn't I already have that? Huh. I thought I already had this. But anyway, that was the Arena of Legends. I'll be back. Is there Next time. To fight this uh, once again in hard mode. Remember, in hard mode, the challenges are actually kind of important to listen to. So that'll be interesting. I understand. But as mentioned, that'll be forward next time. So we're just going to go straight up and do another, another fighty rest at the start of the next video. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay up after all, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I will see you next time where we will go to Beleriand. Eventually. Bye.